I'm sitting in a 2016 Toyota Corolla keyed version. We're going to program in a master key. We have no keys. We're using the smart dongle. See it right there. And with this, we can do the quick immobilizer reset. Our immobilizer light is to the right of the radio. You can see it blinking right there. So let's get started. Toyota, North America, Corolla 14, immobilizer. Okay, ignition's on. We are on, special functions, reset immobilizer. One token will be used. Our light should turn on here real quick. Make sure the door is open. It is. Okay, there it is, it's reset. Okay, now what we want to do is we want to switch ignition off. Switch ignition on. It is on, give me one second. Tokens 137. Insert master key, switch on, it's already on. Now we should have a countdown screen here, 45 seconds. Now something to note, if the key or the chip is valid at this point, your light will stay solid during this procedure. If it's an incorrect chip, the uh, light will just continue to flash. Okay, procedure is complete. And then here's something of note. You can see that the light right there is solid. Now you have to press enter on this screen for the light to go out. So I'm gonna press enter, enter's pressed. You can see I'm back to the token screen. Now you can see that the light is out. You take the key out, enter the key. You can see that the light is out. It has been programmed. I am sitting in a 2016 Toyota Corolla Mobilizer equipped with the H key. There's our mobilizer light right there. Now I'd kind of like to go over the difference between the master and the valet transponder inside the key. Um, if you're doing an add key, you must have a master transponder. Um, there's been many, many calls either with no, a no key situation, people using a valet chip, or trying to add a key when the customer only has a valet. You must have a master to start with. Now, you can tell the difference between the keys, at least electronically, doesn't matter if they're aftermarket, OEM. You can always try uh, electronically. This one here is an OEM key or OEM transponder in an aftermarket shell. Now, this is a valet chip. Now, when I insert this into the ignition, now watch the light. You see how it comes on and goes out? That's a valet. Put it back in, comes in on a solid, goes out. Now, I'm just going to put a metal key in so you can see it's reading. Metal key doesn't pick up anything. Zero. Just keep flashing. Now, I'm going to put a master key in, and you're going to see the difference. Okay, watch the light. Here we go. Light is out. Pull the key out. Blinking, master key back in, light is out. Pay attention to that light. There, it's out again. I could start the car with this. Now I'm gonna put the valet back in. Both start the car, but remember that rule. The master is required as the first key. That applies to type two, four, five, and six systems, 
also applies to uh, type 1 but the chips are uh, coded differently in the way you program them in they're the same chip so you need to look at the light and make sure what's good that's all we need